time, to those who aren't doing it, is a fascinating study. And Big Ben didn't always have the high old time he's enjoying now. Clocks, as opposed to the ancient sundial, were first used in the 4th century, and they were worked by weights. With the invention of the mainspring in the 16th century, the portable clock was born, like this brass circular type, which, with those that follow, is in the British Museum collection. A beautiful copper gilt table clock in the form of a crucifix, the hour shown by a revolving globe at the top. Figures of St John and the two Marys adorn the foot. A copper gilt model, the sides and base richly embossed with scrolls and fruit, and on the top are figures of a man with a pack, a milkmaid and a cow, which works automatically when set. A German griffin clock of 1620. The dial is held in the forepaws of the griffin, which has a movable lower jaw and flapping silver wings. A novel clock watch with a marine view on the silver dial and a single gilt hand. The works are of brass and the hours are struck on a large bell. The strike a light clock of gilt brass containing an alarm and on the top is a device which releases part of the lid and exposes tinder and candle for seeing the time on the white enamel dial. The famous Orpheus clock is of copper gilt. The dial is fitted with two pointers of steel and engraved with four concentric circles of numbers. Round the side is the figure of Orpheus and a group of crouching lions. The richly chased cupola conceals an alarm. A copper gilt clock with a figure representing a moor standing by a palm tree. At the top is a globe on which a spear marks the time. It has a simple striking movement with a wheel balance. An astronomical clock of copper gilt. In the centre is a pillar with the French names of the days of the week. The pillar supports a circular dial, elaborately engraved, which is moved by a train of wheels in the base. The clock is an outstanding example of fine engraving, especially the signs of the zodiac round the sides. But the creme de la creme of clock construction is this masterpiece. It's made in the shape of a medieval nep, the boat-like table ornament in which persons of distinction placed their knife, spoon and table napkin. It was made for the Emperor Rudolf II in 1580 and the detail is simply amazing. 